Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. Five box, random team break number four. One spot gets you two teams in this break. All card ship. Um, a lot of great stuff in this Gypsy Queen. I, I really like this. Big thanks to everybody here. Let's double your names up. Uh, double up. Uh, uh, like Sir Mix-a-Lot. Let's get all the teams right there too. Let's roll it, randomize it. One and a five, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Juan down to Steve after six. One and a five, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got the Halos, Otani pitching tonight, and down to the Detroit Tigers. All right, Juan with the Angels, uh, Bennett with the Metropolitans, Michael with the Rockies, Allen with the Rays, Nathan, you got my Dodgers, Bennett with the Nats, Harry with the Orioles and the Phillies, Bennett with the Rays and uh, Reds and the Jays. Juan with the Padres, Harry with the Rangers, Michael with the Diamondbacks, Bennett with the Cubs, Louie with the Pirates, Bennett with the Cardinals, Steve with the White Sox, Adam with your last bod mojo stars next to your name, Royals and A's. Chris with the Marlins, Allen with the Brewers, Chris with the Braves, Bennett with the Yankees, Nathan with the Astros, Bennett with the Indians, Paul with the Giants, Louie with the Twins, Paul with the M's, Harry with the Bo Sox, and Steve Stefanik with the Detroit Tigers. Let's sort alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, folks. No deals were done on a Wednesday, the 4th, break 4. Thanks, everyone, for knocking this out. Thanks, everybody, for uh, getting in on the action. We got all five boxes right here. Perfect. Ballinger on the box. Here's the box topper. So here's something interesting. The Dodgers picked up, uh, Jesse told me this morning, Cole Hamels got picked up by the Dodgers. He had the, he's 30, he's 37 already. Cole Hamels recently held, had a widely attended showcase for clubs. It looks like the Dodgers, Dodgers wanted him. He's gonna, Cole Hamels gonna head to the spring training complex first to build up some arm strength. It looks like he's going to get a million dollars base salary and will take home 200k bonus for every start made. It's not a bad deal. I think last year he was with the Braves. The season was wiped out by a series of triceps and shoulder issues. But then it looks like he his shoulders 100%. Did the little showcase, little audition. Looks like he's good to go. Which is pretty interesting because I think that that speaks to that speaks to maybe Clayton Kershaw's injury is a little more serious or at least taking longer to heal than uh, than, than the Dodgers organization initially thought. So we'll see how that Cole Hamels deal works out. I wouldn't be surprised. I was telling Jesse this earlier. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Kershaw, uh, they just kind of held on, just just uh, said, hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about August. You know, spend the rest of the month 
to kind of heal. Relax, rehab. Maybe spend a bit of September to rebuild some arm strength a little bit. And then use like Kershaw out of the pen or something like that. I could see that often happening if he's willing to do it. Dodgers offense needs to shape up a little bit too. It's kind of a rough loss last night to the Astros. Well, we'll be back tonight. Yeah, I mean, could could Cole Hamels be the next crafty lefty? Like Jamie Moyer? There's Yohan Mankata. It's possible. White Sox are going to be a good team. They got Luis Robert back soon. They're going to get, I think they already have Eloy Jimenez back. So we'll see what happens there. There's Jazz Chisholm, pretty solid year for him. That's for the Marlins, Chris Miller. Ramon Laureano, mini. Trey Turner make, make his Dodger debut later this week. And our first autograph is Andy Young. Chipsy Queen autograph for Michael P. and the Diamondbacks. Two on-card autographs per box, it says. All-card ship. A lot of fun inserts here. A lot of fun cards. Um, I enjoy the design of Gypsy Queen. There's a no-name variation. A lot of variations here, too. And I also think, actually, you should be looking at the backs of these cards, too. They're the, uh, there's bazooka backs as well. No bazooka backs there. All right. Alan, I would like Yelich to go with your bat barrel, sure. Let's try to find one of those. Yeah, they don't have... Did they have minis before? I, think that, I thought they were always these, uh, these sort of tall boy cards. I forget if they had minis from before. I think it's Ginter definitely has the minis. Yeah, so when you get these cards, there's Joey Votto, because all cards ship to 150, it'd be worth Kind of going through these cards again, looking up a variation list, make sure I didn't miss anything. Tyler Stevenson, Bennett with the Reds. There's Joey Votto for the Reds, Bennett also with the Joey Votto. Clevenger to 250. Right. No bazooka back there. 
Mike Clevenger going to the Padres. That'll be for Juan. 250. Uh, Joe Adele rookie card just got called up recently. He's been raking in the minors. Could finish the season strong, the major league season strong. There's Luis Arreyes with the no name front up here. And that was box number one, the box topper, three chrome cards. All right, first one is Bryce Harper. Next is Glaber Torres, Glaber Day for the Yankees. Bryce Harper going to the Phillies. Harry, Glaber Torres going to the Yankees. Bennett, and there's Mookie Betts. Nice color match. Nathan Miller with the Dodgers, 98 out of 99. All right, that was box one. Box two of five. This is random team break number four. Box hoppers here. All right, good luck, everybody. What's happening in uh, on the scoreboard today? Some games already in the books. In Oakland, the A's beat the Padres 5-4 in extra innings. Pirates at Brewers, Brewers 1-4-2. Rays at Mariners, or Mariners at Rays. Rays 4-3 winners. In Cincinnati, Reds beat the Twins 6-5. Those are your finals for the day. Games in progress. Mets jumped out to an early 3-0 lead on the Marlins in Miami. Red Sox up 1-0 on the Tigers in the second. Blue Jays up 4-0 in Toronto. Are they back in Toronto? 4-0 against the Tribe. Orioles jumped out to a 2-0 lead in the third in the Bronx. And the Phillies and Nats in the nation's capital tied at three, top of the third. And um, I think the Angels game is about to start. They're in Texas. This is a uh, Otani day. Otani starting today. So it's, let's watch a little Angels pregame. That game starting in about 10 minutes. This will be in the middle of the break when it, uh, that game starts. And for my Dodgers, Astros at Dodgers in a, in a couple hours from now. Max Scherzer making his first start. The 2022 baseball schedule is out, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what we got. A 
and remember all cards ship and just always double check your cards for possible variations. There's Keeper Ruiz, part of the big deal that, that sent Max Scherzer and Trey Turner out to L.A. We got Marco Gonzalez to 199 for the M's. It's going to go to Paul K in the Mariners. And our first autograph. Is for the Reds. Not number, but that's Jose Garcia. That'll be for Bennett and the Red Legs. You know what? I don't know if I want to have any futures plays on the EPL. I should though. That season is coming up fairly fairly shortly. Not very good at futures plays. I have to wait too long. <laughs> for But I'm sure I'll start looking at some picks from week to week if I find some value there. All right, we got for the Giants, Tommy LaStella. Sort of a sepia look here. That's 94 out of 99 for the Giants. That's going to be for Paul K. and my rivals. We've got a black and white Dallas Keuchel, two out of 50. Yeah, I feel like Man City has to be the favorites. What what additions have they made this season? I feel like they, they lost Sergio Aguero, I think. Who did they? They must have added somebody. Or going? They're probably. In the process of adding somebody, I guess. There may be some value in maybe Man United with the addition of uh, Jaden Sancho. Could be some value in Liverpool as well. Because now with a healthy Liverpool team, um, especially in that defense. You know, some, some second year players that have adjusted to the English Premier League could be big. Oh, there's a bazooka back right there. Could be, uh, could be big for Liverpool, even though they haven't made too many splashy moves in the summer transfer window. Nice, that's a nice bazooka back right here. For the Astros, that's going to go to Nathan. There's our autograph. Brian Hayes, Pirates. That's a rookie card for Louie. Alright, the autograph is for the Red Sox. That's Jonathan uh, Arauz. Arauz. For Boston, that's going to be for Harry and the Red Sox. Oh, 
going back to soccer really quick, the, the tough thing about the Liverpool manager, Jurgen Klopp, is that for players who are not used to his training regimen and the, the, the fitness requirements and the pace at which he plays, it could be difficult for a lot of players. Oh, I forgot about these. So usually the players that, were, that, were, that joined the team for the first time, the first year they generally struggle. Guys like Diago Jota, right? Didn't really struggle at injury issues, but still takes a while for them to, for new players to get used to that system. There's Strasbourg, but in their second years is when they usually, when they usually flourish. There's Matt Chapman. And Bo Bichette, 139 out of 150. Blue for the Blue Jays, Bennett. Oh, Jack Grealish, probably Harry Kane for Man City. I don't know if... If, uh, if if Levy lets Harry Kane go, even there's a little camp holdout happening there with Harry Kane. Allegedly, there was some sort of gentleman's agreement between the ownership and Harry Kane. They were like, "Yeah, well, uh, we know you want you want bigger and better things in your career. Play for Champions Leagues and whatnot." We'll work out a fair transfer for you. And then I think now they're walking that back. They're like, we never said that. Next Gypsy Queen at box. are a little slippery here. Can't grab that, that lip right there. Yeah, I yeah, for Tottenham fans for sure. I think it'd be rough to see Harry Kane leave Tottenham, but I mean I don't blame a player, especially he's been with with the with Spurs for a little while. I don't I don't blame him for thinking, hey, I'm a pretty prolific striker. I'm one of the top players in the game. You know, can't blame a player for having that kind of ambition. I mean, how long has Harry Kane been on been on Spurs? Probably for a while. At this point, yeah, Spurs having a hard time getting to getting to qualify for for Europa League. Yeah, I think he's been with with Tottenham since two thousand four. Right, as a uh, part of their youth team, to, from 2004, which would which would probably mean since he was like 11 years old, yeah. So he's been with the club. So you can argue that he's been. Uh, you can argue that he's served his club for a long time, and sort of it sort of feels more like. Uh, Sort of feels more like KG kind of leaving the Timberwolves. <laughs> Though his Wikipedia says, page says, senior career, Manchester City, 2021 to 2028, 252 appearances and 214 goals. Some city fans feeling optimistic. That hasn't that move hasn't happened just yet. Fortunately, they were resigned to sign, resigned to oh resign, son to an extension. Hyphens are important when we're talking about talking about sports. I thought you meant that they were resigned to get Sun on an extension. No, they wanted to re-sign Sun to an extension. Whoa, was that a smaller one? Yeah, the big cabinet is now over there. Where? Over there, filled oh. with other boxes. I'm not gonna have any Jasper stickers here, do you? Yeah. Oh, can I have one? All right, next box. 
Oh, we got a Yankees autograph, Clark Schmidt. That's for Bennett and the Yankees. Just looking for those bazooka backs. We've got Raphael Devers to 199. And that'll go to Harry and the Red Sox. Spurs asking for over 120 million pounds. Doesn't surprise me. I wouldn't make I, if I was ownership. I wouldn't make it easy for a club like Man City to get one of the best strikers in the game. We got Austin Meadows to 250. That's right, Matt Faskurgeon does uh, Angels baseball now. He does a select amount of games while he's not doing ESPN stuff. There's Christian Pache, no name, right here for the Braves. Nice variation for Chris Miller and the Bravos. You know what we haven't seen yet variation-wise? Maybe I missed one, but usually there's a there's one with like the the Gypsy Queen logo on there, not not the GQ letters. I feel like I haven't seen one of those yet. Those usually kind of pop right out at you. Yeah, I saw that. Anthony Rondon gone for the season for the Angels. I wouldn't be surprised if they just if they just shut down Mike Trout too. Or at least not. I mean, there's no really no real need to rush him back. And just put focus on Otani. Try to get him an MVP. And there's Luis Camposano on card autograph. Uh, Padres on card auto for Juan and the Friars. The box topper and then two more boxes to go. We got oh, Angels edition of Albert Pujols. The Shohei Otani is going to be doing some of that and some hitting today. And there's Clayton Kershaw, 17 out of 150. Got some left forearm soreness. That's always a scary thing to hear. 
Hopefully he's slowly making his way back. All right, two boxes to go. This one's a little fatter right here. What's happening here? different happening here? No, maybe not. All right, good luck. Next box. Yep, Mark Goob is, a, is the color commentator, Eric Jennings. So it's Matt Vaskersen. I think Matt Vaskersen just signed this year with the uh, Angels to be their play-by-play -play man. And then Mark Goob is, uh, has been doing color for the Angels for a little while now, I think. RBI and stolen base for Joe Adele in his season debut. Dust off your Joe Adele cards. And he's been raking in the minor leagues too. Had a little weird year last year. Um, a little, little weird last year in a shortened season. Never really got himself into gear. But a, but a nice off season. A, I think he had a decent spring training and just really blossomed in the minor leagues, and now he's back up. Shohei Tani hitting and pitching tonight. Shohei will be the second batter up behind David Fletcher, and then we'll see him hitting in the bottom of the frame against the Rangers there in, there in Dallas today. Here for Colby Allard. Two and nine record, five two three ERA. Yeah, I remember Gubaza as a Royal. I don't remember his Philly days. It's only vaguely. And we got a Rafael Marchand on card autograph. Speaking of the Phillies, Harry with the Fighting Phils. Your buddy's wife is related to Joe Madden. How so? Tell Joe Madden to... Uh, oh, Gubaza's from the Philly area. Tell Joe Madden to come and visit the shop. In the offseason. It's probably busy now. It's Mitch Moreland to 199.
any bazooka backs? No. No, oh, it's it's her uncle or something. And we've got uh, Nick Nider, rookie. You can see the Marlins font is different. So it's like a different font variation. For the Marlins, that's going to be for Chris. Chris Miller with that. Hey, Oliver, how's it going? Tani strikes out. All right, Jared Walsh, black and white, 46 out of 50 for the Angels. Juan Chavez with that one. I think Walsh might be up to bat now. Walsh has been having a great season. He's been hitting the ball out of the park with some regularity. I don't know, maybe, maybe he's not hitting. T oh, he's on the IL, that's right. He has been hitting well. Have I had any Jackie or Clemente variations? No, not yet. Well, not that I've noticed. Cabrian Hayes rookie card for Louis and the Pirates. This guy, Max Scherzer, making his debut start with the Dodgers tonight. And we got Brent Rooker. This is your second autograph of the box. Louie with the Minnesota Twins. And there's the Mets no name right here. Carlos Carrasco, who I think is, uh, is making a start tonight. Carrasco was starting tonight. Yeah, Carrasco is starting tonight. See, only a f just a few innings in, but just one hit, a few strikeouts, not bad. Bazooka back. So that is, uh, I think, Albert Abreu? Adbert Abreu for the Yankees? It's the bazooka back variation, which I think are, think are really fun. That's for uh, the Yankees. Bennett with the Bronx Bombers, your box topper. Got a uh, nice Ryan Mountcastle. He's been hitting the ball real well for the O's. Harry with the Orioles. It's Joey Bart. Former number one overall pick for the Giants. That's going to be for Paul. And we got another nice player here. Sixto Sanchez for the Marlins. Chris Miller. All right, final box. Gypsy Queen coming up. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Yeah, love love the Gypsy Queen. Gypsy Queen is always fun.
All right, see you. Thanks, Jesse. Let's go, Otani. I got him on my fantasy team. I have him as a pitcher today, my fantasy league. I don't know how, I don't know if you have Otani in your fantasy baseball league. I think most leagues want to split Otani, right? Like you can draft him. I don't know. Well, the way our league does it, he is one player, but he has to be in either a hitting spot or a pitching spot. So I can't get any hitting stats from Otani today. Just pitching stats. Then I can move him back into the hitting spot. I feel like I've seen some people, some leagues draft him as two individual two players. So one player would be Otani hitter only, and one player would be Otani pitcher only. I've seen that. I think most leagues must have it where, where you can he's just one person, but you can put him in any spot, a hitter spot or a uh, pitching spot. He also has outfield eligibility for most leagues, I would think. Yeah, kind of like a flex for Otani, but as if, I guess if you had individual defensive players on a fantasy football team, you'd be able to move them from defense to offense. And then we'll do the box topper at the end. Good luck, everybody. Final box. Alec Baum is our first on-card auto. First of two. Harry with the Phillies. Seventy nine out of ninety nine. And our second on card autograph. Well, that's it, Sam Huff. Well, let's see if we can find some low numbered stuff. In the rest of the box. First two autographs are out. Uh, that'll be for the Rangers. That's going to be Harry with Texas. Maybe we'll find some fun variations here. No bazooka backs here. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie card. And Spencer Howard to 150. I think he got traded for somebody. Someone will remind me who he got traded for. Wow, there you go, EA. No worries, man. Thanks for getting in. As always, I appreciate it. See, we didn't have to get too far for the big hits. It worked out. Yeah, Rizzo had another home run. Is he going to be the greatest Yankee ever? Yeah, Babe who? Are, are Rizzo rookie cards skyrocketing? Wait till Topps does a uh, Topps update. R Anthony Rizzo, Yankees edition. I mean, that might go for a pretty penny. Yo, the Nationals, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually, let's make sure we're not bidding on the same one. Oh, no, you're, you're doing a buy now. What is that divided by four? I can't math, Sean Jasper. Yeah, that's about that sounds about right. 
I think individual cards are going for, I think at the national we're going for like 30 bucks a pop. People were selling for 30 bucks, but then that price started creeping up. Um, but yeah, I think individually they're going for a lot more. So I actually have two of the four. I'm bidding on a set and I'm just gonna sell the other two to get a little uh, money back. <laughs> and then I'll have the set. And then I'll have to find whatever the fifth card is going to be and get that too. There's Brad Keller for the Royals. Yes, indeed. EA, Max Scherzer, Mad Max making a start tonight. No Kershaw, no Bauer, no Dustin May. So hopefully Max Scherzer can fill that, fill that hole in the rotation for the Dodgers. So he'll start, what time is it right now? On the West Coast, it's almost 5.30. In about an hour and 20 minutes, he'll be, be making his first start. All right, we've got the no-name front, Anthony Rendon, for the Angels, out for the season. But I'm sure, sure he'll bounce back. And we got a Jesus Sanchez. We got a third autograph out of here, a bonus auto for Chris Miller and the Marlins. Nice, Sean. It's a pretty nice set. I think some people are trying to sell it for like two. It seems a little high. Anywhere from like 120 to 160, I feel like, is is pretty good for that set. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what's in the box topper. Thanks for watching. This was a random team break number four. 2021 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. A lot of fun stuff here. Big thanks to everybody who got in. We got Alec Baum, rookie for the Phillies. We've got another rookie here, Casey Mize for the Tigers. That's for Steven, Steve Stefanik. And last but not least, we've got Blue, Austin Meadows for the Rays. That's for Alan Murdoch. And that is to 150. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.